Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? E Rivera and Nadi for bringing you another action figure review. Today we are looking at not really an action figure, but this is something that you guys may have been uh, seeing online quite a bit. This is the new Tian and Yamsha custom head sculpt and replacement hair with clothes set or kit from China. Uh, some random Chinese company, I'm not even aware who they are yet, uh, made this for your SH Figuarts, Yamcha and Tian. And it seems to be uh, pretty, you know, solid so far. I mean, we, I haven't seen it in hand yet. We're going to take a look at that. But based off of pictures, it looks pretty good. But anyways, here is the box. It's a little crushed. This is the way it came in the mail. Unfortunately, they uh, just shipped it with this box and then just a paper um, plastic wrapper over it. So this was the actual box it shipped in so that's why it's all banged up so if you guys care about the box then uh yeah i don't think it's gonna come in one piece but there it is the back of the box actually tells you the instructions of assembling it all together well i was already halfway uh, assembling these guys together off camera and i just uh, crossed my mind to just show you how it looks like in the package real quick before i do that so i put these back i already put on tn's torso piece on accident off camera uh, i really didn't think about that but anyways this is how it looks uh, as soon as you slide it out the box this is it it's just that inside it's a clamshell uh, we get two pegs right here that's a glare got the ponytail or braid hair here this is the front piece of that the two faces uh the spiky hair up here and then this is where the torso piece for tn would be that's it fairly simple it's a little crushed like i i mentioned the box came crushed but the uh contents are are good inside here's the torso piece and um since i really didn't show it i apologize um and i'm not gonna do it again i'm not gonna take it apart because it was a bit of a hassle uh, you really got to pull it apart and it comes apart at the waist. The belt is a separate piece that comes apart, but, you know, you just lay it there. It's it's, it's just a ball peg. That's it. So it's not going to break. You're not going to have to worry about that. But when I was separating it, it does have an abdominal uh, area here. Here, let me, let me bring in my regular TN. I did buy another TN just for this. So you can see how there's an abdominal area here. So from here to here, it was separating. And what you're trying to separate is from the waist uh, so that kind of scared me, but I just kind of grabbed it from there and pulled and it popped off eventually And then when you were applying it back together You got to keep pushing and pushing until you hear a pop or a snap and that's when you know it's in place and it looks good I mean seriously, this looks pretty darn good. The green matches very nicely That was one of my worries if the green or the paint or just the overall quality of this Chinese uh, You know accessory was gonna fit well with an authentic uh, to Machine Nation's figure and it does I mean it seriously looks like uh, this was meant to come with the figures and you know if I were to tell you this is I got this from Bandai Tamashi and you had no knowledge of this figure you would think this came with it uh, that's how good it is you can just see there the green matches perfectly and it just looks good it really does so obviously when you want to apply it you want to apply it over his left shoulder you always want to show the scar there it's not really going to work if you put it backwards because uh, the way they molded it too is you know pretty darn near perfect to the mold of this torso here uh, the front has a uh, indentation for the pectoral there and the back doesn't so you know which way to put it uh, and obviously if you watch the show you know it's going to be this side of his body so it looks good i like the tn one so far and you can see i put him in a little pose here for you guys uh, just to uh, check out how he looks keep in mind guys i'm gonna put various poses at the end of the video i always do a little montage or slideshow of pictures at the end of all my reviews so check that out you're gonna see poses in different pictures or the figure in different you know ways that you're not gonna see in the video because it would be too long if i did so uh, stay tuned for that at the end of the video if you guys want to see more and there you can really see the differences there i got one in the tribune cannon pose the shirtless one which is the original figure and then of course the uh, accessory piece on the original figure over here on the left side and it's just really cool to have this option uh you know for any dragon ball z fan this is something that caught my eye when i saw it on online and i, I figured i'd give it a chance and review it and i'm very very pleased with it so far all right guys so what i've done so far i popped the head off it actually is pretty tricky this head isn't really meant to come off this is the original head right here let's get it focused there and you can see uh let's uh, remove the hair and the face just to see this is a weird peg we got here i don't know what band i 
people stinking here but i guess they intentionally did not want this head to be removable i don't know but it does remove down here at the bottom uh where it hooks in and then the top stayed in there and you can see it's attached with that weird cylinder shaped peg uh once that removes we want to go ahead and put in the ball peg that comes with the kit and here is the other one that comes with there is two because if you do want to display two figures or let's say this differently if you want to buy two extra Yamcha figures for each face then you have the option to display them uh, with two, with both of them because you get two pegs so they thought about that and you're not just uh, constricted to just swapping the heads out on one figure if that makes sense so anyways i already did it over here and it is true what the box says you really do want to apply hot water to it because it was tough when i popped the head off the neck actually came off with it so that comes right back in you know it's just a ball joint but applying this inside here was pretty tough um but get some hot water it softens it up real quick push it in and you're good to go and everything looks good so we got the black peg there and we're gonna go ahead and put on the hair kit for uh, Yamcha so we're gonna start off with the short hair let's do the short hair because I'm more excited about that one and I'll go ahead and do this one on camera since I uh, haven't really been showing much but I don't want to make this video too long so that's why this is pretty much self-explanatory stuff anyway so I don't want to bore you guys to death but here's the spiky hair and then here is the face so the spiky hair like the box said you want to use the two faces it comes with here are the two faces he comes with we have a neutral serious face there and it sculpted very nicely and the paint looks clean I'm pretty impressed by this and then the right side has a more angrier grinning face and this is also looks good too uh, so far, it looks nice. I'm worried about the skin tone matching. Uh, it seems to be a little bit different than the original. You can see here, putting it next to uh, this one, uh, how much more pale this one looks next to it. But we'll see once it's on the figure. That's what really counts. And then, of course, here's the spiky hair. And then you want to put that there. So that's how that looks. And then if we want to see the braid hair real quick before I apply everything together, here is the braid hair ponytail hair is how I'm going to call it. This is very similar to what we got already with the original. So here's the original, what comes with your original Yamcha. So we get this uh, long hair, and this is long hair too, but instead of it all down, you got it uh, in a ponytail. So uh, there's that option, very subtle difference, but there's that, and you can clearly see that the, there's a color difference here. Uh, the, the kit has more of a darker black hair. And it's a lighter black over here on the on the original hair piece. That's not a big deal at all. It's black hair. It's meant to be black. So I don't I don't really care if it's too dark or too light. It seems like it's gonna match uh the side hair anyways right there. That looks just fine. So there's that. But anyways, okay, I'm 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 making this video too long now. Alright, let's go ahead and apply it. Go ahead and put the face first. It seems to fit in pretty nicely, and then the top front piece. See if it, how easy it pegs in. Wow. Okay, so that pegged in really nice. No force needed. Let's take a look at them. All right, I'm totally sold on this. This this looks this looks fantastic. Did not expect a Chinese company to make such a good quality, you know, piece of accessory for an authentic figure. You know, I mean, this is crazy. It's something that Bandai should have just done. They should have just given us this face. Or, or at that, Bandai. Tamashi can do this themselves. They can release kits like this and we will buy them. You know, I'm telling you right now. I mean, I will buy them. All right. So I want to take it as close as possible here so you guys can see that face and that hair and how well that looks. And in regards to the skin tone, I think it looks just fine to me. It's not too drastic. Nothing's crazy there. It's a slight, slight difference with the neck. But it's not that bad. And if anything, the neck already as it is, is a different tone than the chest. And that's the original figure. So, Alright, and I went ahead and swapped the faces out. This is the second face that comes with the kit. With the uh, the grinning and the teeth showing here. So it's a nice tight fit so far. And then the top piece. And that's it. Boom. That looks good. That was easy to put on. No struggle there. And uh, it's a tight fit. It's not cheap quality. It, you know, this is a very high quality kit i can say that and the ponytail is uh, articulated it's on a hinge there and it swivels so that's a nice touch and now we can apply it to the body here there's the braided hair with an og face that looks good all right so there they are next to each other let's 
turn it to the side so the braid area is not such a drastic difference i don't think i'm gonna go out and buy another yamcha figure just to display it in this braid ponytail here i don't think it's that much of a difference to this one it's a slight difference and if yeah if it matters to you then go out and do that but i think the face that's really worth buying another yamcha figure is the spiky hair one for sure but if you guys were curious there you go there's that and now let's get him next to this spiky hair so that's that drastic difference I told you guys about that this is why I would buy or this is why I did buy another Yamcha figure because uh, I think it's well worth it for a, um, a a difference like this in the hair now this is just an added bonus to me if I ever wind up finding a Yamcha for a really cheap price loose then you know what the heck I'll, I'll go ahead and get it just to display it in this one but for right now I think I'm pretty happy with these two on the shelf if I were to recommend uh, the full enjoyment of the kit and the OG figures uh, as they are, then go ahead and get at least one more TN and one more Yamcha and you know, you're not going to be disappointed. Alright guys, that concludes my review of the TN and Yamcha custom head sculpt and replacement hair clothes set from my Chinese company. I'm trying to see if I can find uh, the name of them. It looks like it says Possessed Horse and then it says Assisted by Demonical Fit. So. It's not made by the Monocle Fit, but they assisted in making it. Whatever Chinese company this is, if you're watching this video by any chance, try and get yourself a translator to translate this in Chinese. But I hope you guys continue doing what you're doing. I'm very happy with what you guys release. This is fantastic. They look great and they fit great. Uh, and um, and I hope you guys continue it on. Uh, give us a, uh, a Super Saiyan 2 Majin Vegeta hair scope. That'd be nice. It's something that Bandai did not give us with our most recent release of Majin Vegeta. Uh, they went ahead and gave us a Super Saiyan 1 hair when uh, obviously when he is Majin Vegeta he's supposed to be Super Saiyan 2. So that could be an idea for you guys to make in the future. Uh, trust me it will you know you guys will sell it no problems. So that's it guys I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I cannot recommend this enough. I'm very happy with this and you guys are going to be very happy with these as well. So I'm going to provide a link down below. They're on eBay right now uh, for $29.99. That's not bad at all. You Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. What are your guys' thoughts on this set right here? I personally love it and um, I can't wait to see more from these guys. So, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always guys, I'll catch you on the next one.